My name's Rock Mogus. Oh, I'm 80 years old and I live in San Antonio. I only have one daughter and I have one grandchild, Anthony, who is a great football player. He's 12 years old. When I graduated from St. Mary's University with a degree in industrial engineering, and I went to work for Zachary as a power plant engineer. We would go into the boilers and replace the tubes that were stopping up or that were stopped up because once the tube stops up completely, it'll explode. So when I had my five-way heart bypass, I told my surgeon that I wanted him to go in there. Uh, any, anyone that had a partial stop up, I wanted him to replace it. Mr. Mogus has transcatheter aortic valve replacement. Uh, this is a procedure that involves replacing the main valve that connects the heart to the rest of the body without surgery. Traditionally, this is something that required open sternotomy in order to replace the valve. Over the last decade, we have developed technologies that allow us now to do it percutaneously. And this procedure, percutaneous procedure, was intended precisely for patients like Mr. Mogus. The patients who are sick have a number of other comorbid conditions, such that if he had been subjected to surgery, his chances of survival would be poor. I couldn't hardly walk. I was so weak. I would take my girlfriend out to eat at a restaurant at the club but I couldn't walk up the hill to my car. I'd have to stop and rest for as long as five minutes before I could walk back to my car. And so uh, then it's when I called Dr. Ballon and I told him I really was having problems walking. He was feeling more short of breath and really what he told me was when he walks and tries to do the things that he's always enjoyed doing, he would feel more and more fatigued at an earlier point. And that's just not him. He's an active gentleman, likes to do things. Well, I came in and met with Dr. Smalling and Dr. Malone, and they recommended they, that I immediately go in the hospital that same afternoon because he said I had water around my heart and around my lungs, and that was what was giving me my heart problem, and that's what was restricting my breathing. Mr. Bogus was a prime candidate. His heart was very weak, squeezed at about 20%. By doing this percutaneously, taking a catheter from the leg, tracking all the way up the aorta, back to the aortic valve, crossing the aortic valve, positioning a stent, essentially, across the aortic valve, and then deploying that stent across the aortic valve with leaflets within that then function as a new valve, we were able to get him feeling a lot better. If Mr. Mogus had come to us, say, in 2011, we potentially would not have been able to do it truly percutaneously. And from the time of the valve replacement on, with good medical therapy, he's done very, very well. You're doing great. I'm really proud of I'm all really, the hard work you've put I'm, in. I'm really happy with, with the progress. I mean, I, I couldn't be more thrilled. And I feel super. And uh, I can't give the doctors here in Houston enough credit or enough praise for the work they did on me.